Hello, in this video I'm going to work through three different example questions, each using integration by parts. And so for this it's going to be useful if you know how to integrate by parts, and if you don't I'll link my video tutorials on that in the description. So I've written the formula for integration by parts in red next to every question so you won't need to actually remember it, and I'm going to timestamp each question below so if you don't like the look of a question you can just skip through to the next one. So the first thing we're going to look at integrating is 3x squared plus 4 multiplied by the natural log of x. And if you're familiar with integration by parts, we're going to have one function u multiplied by another function, which is the derivative of v. Okay, So which one is going to be which? That's the first part, and often the hardest part, I think. So for this, the way we're going to work it out is, well, say I set the natural log of x equal to my derivative of v. That means I'm going to have to integrate it to do integration by parts. And to integrate the natural log of x, I need to do integration by parts on it, which seems like a bit more work than just taking the derivative of the natural log of x. So I'm just going to set u equal to the natural log of x because I can take the derivative of that quite easily. And then that just must mean that my derivative of v is going to be 3x squared plus 4. So from here we take the derivative of u, so we find u dash, that's just 1 over x, that's nice and easy. And then we integrate v dash, so we just add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So we get 3x cubed divided by 3, which is just x cubed, and 4 integrates to 4x. So now from here we can just use our integration by parts formula to rewrite this integral up here. So let me put this down here. And that's going to be equal to uv, let's highlight the bit, so u multiplied by v. So that's going to give me x cubed plus 4x multiplied by the natural log of x. Subtract the integral of v multiplied by the derivative of u, which could be written as x cubed plus 4x all divided by x and we're integrating all of that with respect to x. Now, because on the numerator we have two terms that both contain an x and an x on our denominator, these can cancel out like this. And so we're actually left with, if we rewrite it, x cubed plus 4x multiplied by the natural log of x. Subtract the integral of x squared plus 4 with respect to x, and that's pretty easy to integrate. So if we integrate that, we're going to get that's equal to x cubed plus 4x multiplied by the natural log of x, subtract, well that integral is going to be x cubed divided by 3 plus 4x, and obviously we have our constant of integration plus c. And so now if we were to remove those brackets, we would get negative x cubed uh, divided by 3, subtract 4x plus the constant of integration, and this here is going to be our answer. So that's not too bad. Let's look at another example, okay? And this one's a bit more tricky because we're going to have to use integration by parts twice. So let's start off with our u's and v's. Okay, so we've got u and v dash. So which one am I going to select for what? Well, usually I don't like to differentiate trig because the other term, so in this case the term which is x squared, when we differentiate that we can kind of, it becomes a lot easier to integrate when we integrate it later. Now for this example it's quite kind of a bit less easy to spot, but for this one I'm going to select my uh, u to be x squared and my v dash to be sine of x. Okay, And when we get through to the second iteration of the integration you'll see why that might be easier. So from here we're going to differentiate u and we get 2x and when we integrate v, okay, well sine of x integrates to negative cosine of x. And from here if I rewrite this integral, so bring this down here. We can use our integration by parts formula to try and solve it. So that's going to give us uv, so u multiplied by v, which is negative, I'm going to write as negative x squared cosine of x. Subtract the integral of v multiplied by the derivative of u, so these two here, which is going to be negative 2x cosine of x. And we're integrating that with respect to x, okay? Now, if we take a look at this, okay, so far this integral, so I'll highlight it this one here, to integrate this, we're going to have to again use integration by parts, okay? And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to maybe draw a little, I don't know, red line, and then we will bring down just this integral, okay? I'll integrate that, and then I can substitute the answer of that integral back in at the end. So we're going to have that this is equal to, well, let's find our u and our v dash, okay? So my u, I'm going to set equal to negative 2x. And my derivative of v, so v dash, is going to be equal to cosine of x. So if I take the derivative of u, I'm going to get negative 2 
And if I integrate V, or well, what does cos integrate to? That integrates to sine, so we get sine of x. Now we're going to use the integration by parts formula to rewrite that integral. So that's going to be equal to uv. So let's highlight the part. So uv. So negative 2x sine of x. Subtract the integral of v multiplied by the derivative of u. So the uh, integral of negative 2 sine of x with respect to x. And that is something that I can integrate a lot easier. So if I integrate that, we get negative 2x sine of x subtract well when we integrate that that's negative 2 sine of x is going to integrate to 2 positive 2 cos of x so we've got 2 uh, cosine of x okay plus our constant of integration and if we simplify that we get negative 2x sine of x minus 2 cosine of x plus the constant of integration and so this part here, which we've just solved, that integral is equal to this integral up here. So I'm just going to substitute that answer I got into, into where that integral is. And if we do that, we get an answer of, let me just duplicate this bit and bring it down just so we've got it. So this part here, subtract the integral, which is equal to this bit here. So if I make it a bit neater and put this in brackets like this. So now if we simplify all of this, we get that that integral is equal to negative x squared cosine of x plus 2x sine of x plus 2 cosine of x plus the constant of integration c okay so that one was a bit trickier integrating twice is a bit more of a faff than just integrating by parts once okay so let's look at this final example and in this one we have the definite integral so it's between the limits of 0 and 2 of 4x multiplied by e to the power of 2x so again we're going to have to label it up so we've got u and v dash and it's always good to have u as whatever is the nicer thing to differentiate. And I think 4x is a bit easier, or it looks nicer once it's uh, had its derivative taken than e to the power of 2x. So u is going to be 4x, and my v dash is going to be e to the power of 2x. So let's take the derivative of u. That's just going to be 4. And if I integrate v dash, so I'm taking the integral of e to the power 2x, that's just going to be 1 half e to the power of 2x. And so from here, we can just use our integration by parts formula that's in that red box. And we get that that's equal to, or this integral is equal to uv. So let me highlight it again, uv. So we've got 4x multiplied by 1 half e to the power of 2x. Well, the 4 and the half times together, that's going to give me 2x e to the power of 2x. Okay, and this is because it's a definite integral. We're going to evaluate this between the limits of 0 and 2. And then we're going to subtract from that the integral between, again, the limits 0 and 2 of v multiplied by the derivative of u, okay, which is going to be 2e to the 2x, and that's with respect to x. So like I've said in my tutorial, if you've seen that, we could actually evaluate this integral on the left, or this, we could evaluate that uh, immediately, but I'm actually going to save it to the end because there's a nice trick we can do at the end, which makes it all a bit quicker and easier to do. So we're going to have to have this, which is this 2x e to the 2x, which we evaluate between 0 and 2. Subtract this integral. Well, that's pretty easy to integrate. That integrates to, well, 2 multiplied by 1 half, which is just 1, multiplied by e to the power of 2x. So we've got subtract e to the 2x between the limits of 0 and 2. So evaluating both of these is pretty easy because we can push them together into one sort of thing and we get 2x e to the power of 2x subtract e to the x between the limits of 0 and 2. And if we evaluate this, substituting in the upper limit first, we're going to get 2 multiplied by 2 e to the 2 times 2 subtract e to the 2. And then we're going to subtract from that what happens when we substitute in 0. So 2 multiplied by 0 uh, multiplied by e to the power of 2 times 0 subtract e to the power of 0. And so if we do this, we get 4 e to the power of 4, subtract e squared, subtract, well, that's going to be 0, and e to the power of 0 is 1, so we get subtract 1. And if we work this out, we're going to get 4 e to the power of 4, subtract e squared plus 1 as our answer. So hopefully these examples were useful. If they were, like, subscribe, and share, and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.